bulk of the work is going to be done from uh, the ability to upload a sample. So there's two ways that this can be done. It can be done through the UI here, and I'll, I'll show you what each one of these looks like, as well as there's a, a sandbox submission module, which I'll take you to next, and which can be actually tied to automation in, in playbooks. But let's just say that a security incident was created in ServiceNow, and it, there was a file or a URL. Um, they can pick and choose, obviously, from here. They can attach to uh, that, that particular uh, file, for example, by going here and choosing the file location and then uploading it. And obviously it'll get sent to us. That's uh, a pretty standard and straightforward use case. At the same time too, um, you know, they could pick and choose um, all these different options. It's not necessary to do. We can let just the API key and VMRay uh, handle that and then they can also put in tags and other things that you can see here so all this is uh, pretty straightforward as far as uh, what customers would be doing and um, they'll be able to submit those in from here they can go back and they can look at anything that has already been submitted and uh, let me just go back to look at the um, all samples data uh, this is probably a better view if they were to come in here, they could see, you know, different types of submissions that were made. Um, so in this case here, we have a URL, we have a lot of other files. Um, these have all been um, completed and that's why you, obviously you can see the verdict on these as well. Uh, but I'll just kind of go from this top one here, the more recent. This is an example where um, we submitted and we have the sample ID, the submission ID, the URL that links over to it, you know, the file name, the VTIs, which are actually showing up here. So you'll be able to see the VTIs all within the UI. And on the submission ID, I mentioned earlier on, we can get the, whether or not it's finished or not. And this is an example, when you run those jobs to find out whether or not a submission is finished or not, you can see we have a true statement here on the lower right but if it was something obviously it was still running it would say false so that's just a way to see um, not only the sample id but also the submission results um, as a result of that too so now we have the submission id and the sample id right next to each other a lot of other uh, observables that have been pulled back and again we're allowing them to see malicious suspicious and clean so they could filter out you know whatever it is that they do or don't want so if they don't like the fact that clean indicators are in there they just don't have to choose those or they could just filter it from here you know whatever it is that they feel like doing so populating a lot of uh, fields here uh, for customers to be able to access classifications threat names things of that nature you can see across the top, we have the ability to get the sample report PDF, the analysis report, um, the analysis archive, and screenshots. So as you would expect with the sample report, it pulls down a PDF, and we actually have that here, so they can view it uh, just like that in the UI. If it was uh, the analysis report, uh, as you would expect, you, know, you can get the full analysis report. In this case, uh, it's 14 pages. They can also get the analysis archive. Now, one thing to mention that when they do pull the analysis archive down, there is an antivirus module within ServiceNow that may block this archive. Um, if that happens, it's part of ServiceNow and customers would have to go into um, the ServiceNow modules and go to the quarantine where this has been uh, quarantined at and, and release it. So just something to be aware of that um, the product may do that, uh, but any customer who has uh, malicious samples in here uh, may be running into some of that to begin with. And then lastly, you can get the analysis screenshots. One example, just to point out, if I were to get the analysis screenshots here once it loads, some of these are coming down in zip files, and then you actually have to extract these. So I wanna point out that you know, we can expand this module out here by clicking on this plus six, and you can see these are all the different um, analysis PDFs as well as zips. So if I wanna view these screenshots, you actually have to unpack them. And the way to do that here is it'll just download those and you'll be able to go to your uh, folder and see these. And 
look at each one individually. So that's um, a bulk of what customers can do within the UI here. So quite useful in terms of the analysis. I'll also show you here too that there's a section called observables. And so if you were to type here, and again, these are things that customers are, if they're using ServiceNow as a security incident response, they are quite familiar with the observables location. So I'm just typing in observables. I'm going to go to that area of the product. And what we ended up doing with those observables that are populated is we gave it a note of VMRay. Uh, so this is quite useful where they can just come in here and they can see, you know, where did this come from? Where do these observables generate? Who is the source behind it? Any VTI scores. So this takes a lot of that same data that was um, shown earlier and populates it into the observables. Now what they can do is they can, you know, share observables. They can attach it to a case. There's a whole bunch of other things within ServiceNow that customers are used to doing that will allow them to go and um, act on this type of observable, um, depending on what it is that they want to be able to do. So I'm just kind of giving a, a quick overview of what that looks like. Lastly, one of the other areas that I mentioned is the sandbox, and there's an integrations configuration um, section, or excuse me, capabilities flow and you can see I'm highlighting over this and if I go here to the flow these are other things within ServiceNow that can be used and down here near the bottom there's a sandbox submission and this is core functionality of ServiceNow uh, security operations so if I click on sandbox submission we actually have an opportunity to go to the capabilities implementations and in this case here VMRay sandbox submission is an option so if I choose that, um, there's a whole bunch of other things that the product allows you to do that um, customers would be used to doing, and they can attach this to playbooks and automate it. So I'm not going to go through a ton of information on this one here, too, because it's uh, significantly more involved. And candidly, it's um, capable within the product. But beyond that, customers would have to know how to use this themselves because um, it's standard functionality within the product if they have this enabled. You know, they can go back here and, and set up other features and functionality within the product. All this is just you know, part of the configuration with the product that we're using here for the integrations uh, with ServiceNow. So hopefully this is helpful. These are examples here where there's been previous um, submissions. Um, the SIR is security incident response. Uh, so that is um, something that was submitted at one point in time. And you can see that a security incident goes through a draft state analysis all the way through to closure. And customers are used to doing this where they can attach submissions. They can submit it to the sandbox. It runs through this list. They can, they can look at all related lists, which will give them um, more information on that particular incident. And if they click on that, that'll bring up, you know, more about the hashes that were in there. Um, in this case, um, there's also a report that was attached to it. A lot of things can be done. Um, and again, this is just the fact that ServiceNow provides this module and we are able to integrate with it. So uh, hopefully that gives you some, some information to, to work with here. But again, all this is going to be part of the documentation. It's in uh, the ServiceNow system, gets attached to the store and um, that's capable of being done um, within the product here. So again, uh, basically just go to VMR uh, to start the menu to pop up. You'll see the incident response module, all the different uh, settings, jobs, um, support to be able to use this. And then customers can go ahead and enable all that and set up their workflow. And then obviously you can do your favorites and things like that. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. And um, uh, if you wanted to give you a quick overview of ServiceNow, Experience Response with VMRay.